as far as prior builds leading up to this build. Oh, or maybe not. <laughs> we got a uh, <laughs> we got a nice error. Okay, folks. Today we're taking a look at Windows XP build 2495, compiled on the 14th of June, 2001. As you can see, Microsoft Sam has been removed from the little question mark guy, and it's pretty much uh, the final release of XP at this phase. So, yeah, that's probably one of the major differences with this build at this time, if you really needed to have anything as far as the change log is concerned. Now, what I will say is build 2495 is going to be a pretty swift and uninteresting video to take a look at because really there's not a whole heck of a lot that is different. But let's go ahead and run through this out of box experience regardless so we can get to the desktop. And then I can talk about things that are relevant as far as prior builds leading up to this build. Oh, or maybe not. <laughs> we got a uh, <laughs> we got a nice error. Null or not an object. Oh, hey, this is interesting. Who remembers the old uh, internet access thing? And it's got the classic buttons down here still. That's fascinating. Yeah, that's very fascinating. We just got broken buttons. I was not expecting that to come up at all. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to do a thing. We're gonna have to run Microsoft Out of Box Experience and task. Or no, I think you have to end the process itself, which is msoobe.exe. Oh, yeah, okay, that'll do it. There it goes. All right, now I can log in. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the details of the, well, I should say the prior builds leading up to 2495, which, let's be fair, I'm going to run through them rather quickly because they're not very interesting. So, so really there's about three different builds that are worth talking about that are different than 2481, but you know, it's whatever. The first one that's worth mentioning is build 2485, which was compiled on the 31st of May, 2001. And it had a few different interesting changes. First of which being the out of box uh, experience question mark guy that you saw the font was changed uh, from Comic Sans to Arial since it looked kind of goofy and tacky in 2481. I believe the default bliss wallpaper which you don't see right at the moment was changed to the Windows XP background which we will actually take a look at here shortly once I go in here and I go to the properties and I set that wallpaper which is this one here. This is the out of box wallpaper on 2495. I believe the version 2002 banners were removed from the boot screen as well as the about windows dialog. So if we go Winver here, as you can see, it doesn't explicitly state version 2002 in this banner anymore. It just mentions the year and the build number and that sort of stuff. No longer does it explicitly mention version 2002 unless it's in the right-click my computer properties thing. And lastly, another notable difference was with the themes. And this is also present here in 2495 if we go under appearance. As you can see, it says default blue. But now it says olive green and silver for the color schemes. So it's no longer homestead and metallic. And for the most part, that is all the differences we're talking about with build 2485. Now, if you see build 2486, it is just simply a bug fix release and it is identical in features compared to 2485. That was compiled on the 2nd of June, 2001. And the last build that is worth mentioning, which is very, very similar to the one we're looking at right now, is build 2494, which was compiled on the 13th of June, 2001. Really all it did was it changed the safe to shut down your computer screen that you see in computers that either have it explicitly turned on to not automatically shut down when Windows is asked to shut down via group policy or by lack of ACPI support, which of course XP was the last OS to run on non-ACPI compliant computers. So it was updated to the final look at this time. 
and it allowed .NET Passport usage, and it also brought forth the new Windows Messenger interface, which had a different tray icon in an earlier build, but has now got the full fat user experience that we've seen in Windows XP when it launched. Otherwise, that's really all there is to say about 2494. And really the same thing goes for 2495, other than it was compiled a day later. And for some reason, and it's supposed to be in this build, so I'm not sure if we're able to take a look at it here, but Tweak UI is supposed to be in this build. And I'm not sure if it is located anywhere specific or if it's even added at all, because I did do an in-place upgrade, so I'm not sure if that would mean, oh yeah, there it is, it's right there. So yeah, Tweak UI for some reason was added in 2495, who knows why it was, but here it is. Here's good old Tweak UI. So yeah, you can uh, go in there and do that sort of stuff. You clear the history if you really wanted to, if you have some paranoia. Rebuilding icons, new things, you know, that good stuff that Tweak UI lets you do. And otherwise, that's pretty much all there is to say with regards to build 2495. I mean, really, that's truly it. Uh, there's not anything much in the way of differences regarding this build other than bug fixes, and that's, yeah, you know, that's all we can really think about, uh, bug fixes, really. And of course, I believe at this time, uh, if we go under sounds and audio devices, I believe the, yeah, you still have the Utopia sound scheme, but I think that just might be there because I've been upgrading since 2000. Uh, but the Windows XP sounds are all in there by default now instead of the 2000 sound effects. So that's always kind of nice. Actually, I do wonder if the uh, 2000 sound effect is actually still in here. Let's go look under C Windows Media here. Nope, the Microsoft sound was changed to Windows 95. Fascinating. Um, doesn't really look like any of the other sound effects that I can tell other than the MIDI files have survived, which again, doesn't surprise me. So yeah, I think with that having been said, that's gonna wrap up this video. It's a very quick one, I know, but that's because this build really doesn't have much in the way of anything interesting, shall we say. And yeah, that's all I can really think about as far as stuff to talk about with this build. So that'll wrap up this video. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, well then of course you can click the thumbs up button. If you don't like it so much, well then the other button will work too. And if you wanna see more content just like this, there'll be the button down below that says subscribe and as well as the bell. I'd recommend you click on both so you can get notified of when I upload new videos. Anyways, like I said, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.